1929, historians discovered a map which had been painted onto a piece of gazelle hide. They traced the document back to a 16th century Turkish admiral named Piri Reis. But in stark contrast to other maps dating back to that time, the map depicts land masses that were still, as yet, unexplored. It shows the coast of Antarctica as it exists under the current ice cover. Now that's really pretty amazing because it would tend to indicate that the map was made at a time when Antarctica was ice free, which would be many millions of years ago. The map also accurately charts the coasts of Europe and North Africa, but it's the illustration of northern Antarctica that truly astonishes ancient astronaut theorists because this region wouldn't even be discovered for another 300 years. We have to remember that Antarctica is covered by at least a mile thick ice. We didn't have ground penetrating radar until 1958. So for a map to exist in 1531 accurately showing the topography is pretty interesting. When cartographers superimposed the Piri Reis map over a modern map of the world, they were amazed to discover that the ancient chart was fantastically accurate in the most minute of details. But how could the creators of a centuries-old map have known of mountains or rivers that had yet to be discovered? In 1531, I really don't know of anyone who was flying above the surface of the Earth high enough to map topography, and how would they see underneath the ice? Their maps were so accurate. I mean, we know that they didn't go to Antarctica and explore it, but yet they were able to draw these maps of it. 